And June is here with us this morning and will be all week long. And it is really a delight to, to be you. able Thank to you. share this week with you. Uh, have you ever done this before? W what? Co-host a television oh, show? Oh, sure. You've, you've really, I think you've probably done everything there is to do in this business. Just about. I have not flown from a trapeze. But, no, uh, but a list of stunts uh, yes, that are unbelievable. All kinds of uh, things. But yes, I have done this a lot, as a matter of fact. That is great, This type June. of thing. I enjoy it very much, too. Well, we're going to enjoy this week with you. Um, a lot to talk about with you, especially now that currently General Hospital, you're on a bit of a hiatus, a little vacation right now, aren't you? I start again on the 28th uh, taping, so those shows then will air in the uh, middle of February. It's become kind of fashionable to do something on a soap. Uh, what did you go through when you were approached? Uh, oh, I, I sought it out, as a matter of fact. I wanted to do a soap for a long time, and uh, I had never done one and thought it was something that I ought to get into. And then, of course, if you're going to do one, why not the best? The, the General Hospital is certainly the, the best rated and the best organized and the most beautifully run. I think Gloria Monti is an extraordinary she producer. Is what a, a great gifted woman. person, yeah. So uh, the uh, part came up, and I read for it. And then uh, they hired me, and uh, there was uh, no question about whether or not I would do it, you know, once I uh, sought it out. This character, Mariah, has quite a background. Oh, yes. Well, Amazing. now let me dig this. First of all, <laughs> we, I am a descendant. I am a princess, and I am the heir of Maximilian, the Habsburg uh, ruler of uh, Mexico, Maximilian, and his uh, Aztec princess mistress, which is true. He really did have an Aztec oh. princess mistress, and there was a son born from that. Carlotta had come back to Europe to get some more money from Napoleon because they were, you know, out of bucks in Mexico. And uh, then when uh, uh, Juarez was going to take uh, uh, Maximilian out, out and kill him, he turned over the care of the Aztec princess and the illegitimate son to his friend Gomez and gave him some artifacts and some uh, Habsburg treasures and off he went and he was shot. So now our story concerns the heirs of uh, that dalliance and I am a princess descended from that and so is my daughter, uh, Christina Malandro, who plays the part of Felicia. And what we are looking for, of course, are these uh, Aztec uh, artifacts and the Habsburg treasures. But a pretty uh, uh, energetic and classy and full of life grandmother is what you're playing now. Oh, well, you know, I don't think that uh, grandmothers have to be the way we sort of I'm thought with they, you. Uh, I, I look like a person should look at my age. <laughs> you know. Well, I think you, probably a lot of people watching <laughs> would wish that they looked like you do. But oh, that's you nice. played this the wonderful mother uh, uh, to Timmy on Lassie, and yes. uh, such great that's memories. in reruns now. You know, it's on Nickelodeon twice a day, every day. And what fun. Oh, and I saw John Provost recently, and he is taping all those shows now to show his nine-month-old child when the child grows up. John would play but, Jimmy. Yes, we're having great fun watching it. And then when uh, the uh, Lloyd Nelson, who is the uh, script supervisor, and I chat about the show quite a bit, we don't remember shooting half of what we saw, really? you know, what we see. Uh, it, it's remarkable how you can do that. Six years, front and center, know the lines, being there, and all that attention and concentration. And I look at this stuff and I think, my God, what is this one about? And did we do that? And where did we shoot that? And well, it's just amazing. How about, uh, we'll, we'll jar your memory a bit. Let's see if you remember shooting this one. We have a clip. This is All last. right. So, that's what's been going on. You and I have been victimized by a feathered conniver. <laughs> I apologize. What happened? Timmy, you were right. I was? Polly's been responsible for all the damage that's been done here. I just saw her do this. I knew it. Lassie, you're a mess. Lassie, I'm ashamed of all the things I thought about you. <laughs> what are we going to do now? We're going to get rid of that bird. That's what we're going to do now. Uh, no, I have no memory of that. You don't? No, not at all. I guess you just crammed so many, so many days well, of did, hard work uh, together. I did 210 shows oh. and over the six years. And But this 
a group of 200 of the shows was sold to Nickelodeon by Jack Rather. And it's amazing to watch them. And uh, some of them, of course, that were extraordinarily funny or something bizarre or absurd that happened, well, I would remember that. But uh, most of it, no, it's uh, just amazing. Well, June will be with us all week. And lest you think we don't have a lot to talk about, just let me read a couple things. June flew in Lost in Space, a very difficult stunt. She's ridden a camel in New Delhi, an elephant in the circus, flown a blimp, driven a 1923 Seagrave fire engine, is a member of the Teamsters Union, and has driven one of the Army's largest tanks that weighs 53 tons. We have a lot to talk about. <laughs> yeah. So June will be here all week, and I'm glad we just kicked it off. Thanks.